I'm Kiki. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about my Carte Love Bracelet in the size small, as well as some reasons why I kind of regret getting this bracelet. So if you're interested in hearing my personal story, then please keep watching. Let's get started. Do -de -do 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 -de -do 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 Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do -do. Ding ding. All right, so a little bit of a background on this bracelet. This is the Cartier bracelet in yellow gold, size 15, and in the small model or small version. Unlike the large version, it is hinged on one side and can be closed with a 90 degree turn on the, I guess then, what is this called? Bolt? on one side using the screwdriver that comes with the bracelet, whereas the regular version is screwed on on both sides. So there's two screws on either end and has to be fully screwed on and isn't really meant to be worn on and off. It's kind of meant to stay on your wrist 24 seven. Whereas this one you can do either or, you can take it off or you can keep it on your wrist without taking it off. So that's a little bit of the background about these two bracelets. I had originally wanted the regular love bracelet, but when I purchased this small love bracelet about, I wanna say five or six years ago, or maybe even more, yeah, about six years ago, uh, I was in Barcelona and the small love bracelet, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I remember it being new at that time. And I think because it was new, and because of the price difference between this bracelet and this bracelet, it really swayed me towards getting this first. There's several reasons for that. At that time, obviously, I was less financially stable, as well as um, I hadn't bought that many luxury, oh, I hadn't bought any actually. This was my very first luxury jewelry piece ever, like out of everything, not just bracelets. And so I felt that at that time, I couldn't quite mentally <laughs> stomach the price. Even if I could afford it, I was just kind of, it was like a mental hurdle. And so I thought, okay, well, like, isn't it the same thing? It has the same kind of um, design on it as the love. Um, material is great. On top of that, I can take it on and off. I should totally buy this instead of this. I'm basically saving money because I don't have to pay or I get some of my tax back because I'm buying it in Europe as well as the fact that the small love costs less than the regular love. So that was my mistake number one, because I had also used the logic, logic. Plus I tried to convince myself that this would be my only luxury purchase for the next like forever, like years and years, or possibly ever, which of course it ended up not being but that was part of the reason why I regret getting this bracelet because when I went into the store in Barcelona, I told them I want a small love in yellow gold, not rose gold. I want it um, in a size that fit me snugly. And so they got the sizers, they measured my size. They said, oh, you're size 15. Went to the back, grabbed the size, the last one available. Of course, the last one, whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, and I said, yeah. Let's do it. That was the only bracelet I tried on in the store. I kid you not, I think we were in and out of there with our champagne in like 15, 20 minutes tops. I don't think I tried on any other bracelets, which is such a mistake. I think that when you're making a purchase that is as expensive as this is, you should really kind of cool your head and think about it, maybe sleep on it, give it a night, a week, whatever you need because it's not cheap, right? Like pretty pricey and the prices prices only seem to be going up. It's not that as if these bracelets are going to suddenly run out, right? I know because I was on vacation is a slightly different story, but I think that given the chance to maybe rewind time, go back, I would probably think longer and harder about whether this size, this type, would suit me. I don't regret the style. I do really regret the size that I ended up getting. So what I mean by that is if I had gotten this in a size 16, I think I would be super happy with it. At that time, I wasn't really thinking that I would be buying other um, Cartier pieces necessarily to stack 
with this. I thought, oh, I'm just gonna get one love bracelet and that's it. I'm not going to necessarily buy a collection of them or even a Juice Jung Clue to, to go with it. So I just want it really snug. I don't want it to move around because that's how I like my bracelets. That was a mistake because I, the more love bracelets you wear, the bigger they actually have to be in order for them to, whoop, <laughs> just dropped it, <laughs> in order for them to comfortably sit. So as you can imagine, one bracelet's fine if it's loose, right? Like here or there, or, or if it's tight, I should say. But if you wear like a whole row of them, then it's going to be very, very tight if you buy it too small, if that makes sense. And so what I found was later on when I wanted to get a regular sized love and I was looking at the size 15, it was just uncomfortable to be wearing two 15s next to each other. By itself, I can wear it on my left, on my right hand, perfectly fine, very comfortably. But once I wanted to wear more than one love stacked, then it became very difficult. And the fact that this doesn't stack very well with other um, similar bracelets from brands like Hermes or Van Cleef, their, their bangle bracelets, the sizing, it just, it kind of, I think, was something I just never thought of. For one, because I didn't think about those bracelets back then, I didn't even know they were on, like they weren't on my radar, I didn't know they existed. Um, and for number two, I didn't, yeah, didn't consider the, the, the stacking aspect of bracelets or the addictive nature of getting these bracelets. And so I didn't think about the size. I just thought, look, it fits me perfectly on my left hand, which is where I wanted to wear it. All right, just put it on my left hand like this. And this is often actually how I wear it anyway, nowadays. Um, let me just lock that there with the screw. That's fine, right? But the moment I, wanted to get a larger bracelet. I, saw, I started seeing the problem because I had wanted to get the regular bracelet, but I ended up getting it in a size 16 because wearing two 15s, like I just said, was very uncomfortable to me personally. At that point, I thought it was a little bit too, not claustrophobic, but I guess I just, in case I would swell uh, in the, because I do tend to swell when it's really, really hot, for example, I just don't like that feeling of the inner metal. You see that it's kind of bulb? there pressing into my skin that just is uncomfortable to me and for the price you're paying you really should not settle for anything less so that's really the main reason i would say the main reason i regret getting this bracelet is not the style itself but it's the size so if there's any takeaway from this video it is to definitely try several sizes while you're in the store possibly even if you can i don't know if there are dupes on Amazon, I've, I haven't actually ever researched this, but if they have like sizes that are comparable to the real version, I would recommend like bleh, recommend getting a dupe and trying it out and seeing what feels comfortable on your wrist before you jump um, and buy a several thousand dollar bracelet. That is definitely a recommendation. Or if you say you have friends who have the bracelet, maybe ask them if you could try it on, especially because the small love is so easy to take on and off. It is just yeah, that would be a great way for you to test out a size on yourself without feeling the pressure of, because some of us, I don't know about you guys, I feel a lot of pressure to buy, at least I used to. I don't think I feel so much that so much anymore, but I used to feel a lot of pressure to purchase when I went into a luxury store or any store really, because the sales associates time is being used by you and I felt bad and da 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 and there's so many layers to this. So I would end up making kind of hasty or decisions about purchases a lot faster than I think would be um, good for my sake. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys a little bit. It was just a little bit of background of how I ended up getting my small love bracelet, which I still really love. Like I mentioned before, I never sell my bracelets and I never sell my jewelry, handbags, so that's why I still have it even though I kind of regret getting it in this size because I feel like I want to wear it stacked with my regular love, but just because it is a different size, it ends up going over and under this bracelet all the time. I can show you actually. <sighs> but because I do like the style, I have not actually sold it to get another one. I'm thinking that if one day I do decide to sell this bracelet to um, fund another purchase or whatever, I might just buy it in a size 16 to match my 
love bracelet and maybe with diamonds not really sure but yeah because i don't have any plans to wear a stack right now by the way my love is in rose gold so the tone is slightly different this small uh is in yellow gold and the regular is in rose gold so they're slightly different tones here we go so you can see the size difference how it hangs not just the width let's see wait So, I mean, it doesn't look horrible together unless you're like staring at it, but there is a size difference. And if you are a perfectionist like me, then that may bother you. It might not. Um, yeah, just some things to think about. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about Cartier bracelets and the regular or the small size, then please leave me a message or comment below and I would love to make a video about it or just answer you real quick in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and <laughs> don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Janet. Ding ding. Do 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 do. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye-bye.